Good evening, Hokies, and welcome. As you all know, my name is Lizette Rabayeto, and I serve as the director for New Student and Family Programs. We're excited to be coming to you live today from the South End Zone here at Lane Stadium for the first time ever for our virtual Hokie High Spirit Rally. Whether you're tuning in from your residence hall here in Blacksburg or somewhere else in the nation and around the world, we are excited that you have chosen Virginia Tech as the place that you will learn to call home. We're actually also very excited for you to have finished your first week of classes and to share some traditions with you this evening. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you your hosts and MCs for the evening, Chad Zoller and Andy Gracia. Hello, New Hokies. My name is Chad Zoller, and I am the Assistant Director for Transitions within New Student and Family Programs. Howdy, Hokies. My name is Andy Gracia. I'm a rising senior studying natural resource conservation and serve as one of the New Student and Family Programs board members. Throughout our program, we promise we are going to be featuring some of the history and traditions that you are now a part of as the newest members of the Hokie Nation and highlight what it means to exactly be a part of this community at Virginia Tech. So, without further ado, we have one question for you. What's a Hokie? Let's hear what you all have to say by logging onto the Kahoot on the screen and telling us what you think a Hokie is. We will come back to this at the end of the program, but we will give you a minute to figure it out. No matter what you think of when you hear what's a hokey, there really only is one real answer. I am. What's a hokey? I am, Chad. You know it, Andy. But what you probably imagine of when you think of a hokey is our beloved mascot, the hokey bird. Did you know that the hokey bird was selected by a committee as a blend between a current Virginia Tech student at the time who actually owned a pet turkey that could, of course, gobble on command? And the term hokey came from old hokey, to morph into the hokey bird we know and love today. Hold up, hold up, Andy, but where did the term old hokey come from? You know, Chad, that is a great question. The university actually hosted a competition where students could create a new cheer. The winner would get, get this, a whole five dollars. Student O.M. Stoll won that competition, giving us the wonderful cheer we know today as old hokey, which you probably heard before. Oh, I know that chant. But to teach it to you, let's go to Casey and India at the Pylons to tell you more. Hokey, hokey, hokey high. Tech, 
Tech VPI, Solarex, Solari, Polytech Virginia, Ray Ray VPI, Team Team Team. 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 Woo When it comes to our values as Hokies, it's more important than ever that we come together as a community and pledge to care for the health and well-being of our entire community by adopting our community wellness commitment. Now, we will go to a message from the women's volleyball team. Hey Hokie Nation, I'm Kai Young. And I'm Talon Jackson. We just wanted to wish you guys good luck this year. And don't forget to follow us at Hokies VB. Good luck. And, and go, go Hokies! Hokies. Before we go any further, we want to ensure that you're engaging with your friends and peers in today's program. So make sure you're tweeting hashtag Hokie High and hashtag Hokie Spirit and engaging with us on Instagram at Hokies on Track. But we want to see where everyone is joining us from today. So we're going to pop up our Kahoot again and see where everyone is currently at. So if you give us a moment, that will come on the screen. All right, we saw Blacksburg. I saw Colts Neck, New Jersey. That's where I'm from. Happy birthday, Dad. Wow, I saw some Northern Virginia. Uh, is that California I see there, Chad? You hope so. No, Golden cool. State. 
All right, well, thank you for participating, but great, we are going to now go on a quick journey back nearly 148 years ago, where it all started back in 1872 with the Morrill Land Grant. Back then, the government thought it would be smart to start a university in each state or commonwealth that would then exist to serve the community around them. As a result, on the fateful day of October 1st, 1872, then under the name of Virginia Agricultural and Mechanical College, Virginia Tech was born. And of course, this isn't what we know the university to be, to be today. In 1944, it was changed to Virginia Polytechnic Institute, or VPI, and in 1970, we became Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University, or Virginia Tech for short. Since the beginning, we've been founded on the idea of service to the public good. That is why our motto is ut prosum, which is Latin for that I may serve. This is more than just a school motto for Hokies. This is in the air we breathe, and as we will mention, quite literally carved into the stones that surround us. Also core to our roots is the Virginia Tech Corps of Cadets. While we are a campus of civilians and Corps members, there's about a thousand members in the Corps that you'll see walking around campus and in your classes. And they even have their own band. They're called the Heidi Tidies. The Corps of Cadets offers both military and civilian tracks, so members of the Corps don't necessarily have to join the armed forces after graduation. One of the main traditions within the Corps that you will literally hear coming is the Skipper Cannon. Back when our in-state rival was Virginia Military Institute, or VMI, they would fire a cannon during the football games and shout, where's your cannon? Two cadets were tired of hearing this. I don't know, Andy, would you be tired of hearing that? I would be, yeah. I definitely would be too. And they decided to do something about it. So they collected brass from their fellow classmates, collected donations from the Corps to purchase other supplies, and used a mold created actually in one of the engineering departments from Civil War style plans to make their cannon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And they actually derived the name of the cannon, Skipper, from President John F. Kennedy, who had recently just been assassinated. The president had been the skipper of a PT boat, and they wanted to do something to honor him. So today, cadets fire skipper from outside Lane Stadium when the football team enters the field, when it scores, and for other notable occasions. Some of the alumni from the Corps of Cadets were incredibly honorable, and we remember them on campus with the cenotaph over by the pylons. For context, the pylons right above War Memorial Chapel are etched with the names of every Virginia Tech student and graduate who died defending our nation's freedom, beginning with those lost in World War I. At the War Memorial Cha Chapel Center, the Cenotaph displays the names of Virginia Tech's seven Medal of Honor recipients. Each pylon invokes, evokes Virginia Tech's core values. They are, from left to right, brotherhood, honor, leadership, sacrifice, service, loyalty, duty, and ut prosum. Speaking of football from earlier, Andy, have you ever heard of Inner Sandman? You know, I have, Chad. I have heard Once of or it. twice, maybe? <laughs> Actually, Inner Sandman is the song that we play before each football game as we welcome the team to the field. Our football players will run out of the tunnel onto the field as they touch the hokey stone in the tunnel below, a sign that reads, reach for excellence. Oh, Chad, you know, I get goosebumps every time I hear Enter Sandman. But let's hear from two members of our Virginia Tech football team. Hi there, it's James Mitchell and Devon Diablo from the football team. For all you freshmen, welcome to Blacksburg. Make sure to follow the football team on Instagram and Twitter at HokiesFB. Go Hokies. Go Hokies. Also connected to the football team and the Corps of Cadets was choosing our iconic Chicago maroon and burnt orange colors. Back when we were in all-male military school, our colors were black and gray, and so when our football team ran onto the field, they looked like a bunch of inmates in a prison break. To fix the potential for mockery, our school formed a committee to seek out two colors that had never been used together in another university in the country, and our iconic colors were born. You know, I'm glad they chose orange and maroon, Chad. Me too. It's very iconic. It'll grow on you, right, Andy? It, uh, that orange, quite especially. Literally. <laughs> quite literally. You know, Chad, now that we're in 2020, it feels like everyone is proud to be a Hokie. And Virginia Tech has made it clear that it's actively committed to everyone, no matter their identity, and wants them to know that they are valued, respected, and celebrated member of the Hokie community. But Chad, it really wasn't always that way. You know, Andy, you're right. It wasn't until 1921 that President Burris convinced the Board of Visitors to allow women to register for classes. 
Yeah, and it wasn't until 1953 where Virginia Tech's first African-American student, Irving L. Pedru, was enrolled. He was the first black undergraduate student at a white land-grant university in the former Confederate South. Then, it wasn't until five years after that, in 1958, that the first African-American student, Charlie L. Yates, graduated. In 1966, for the first time, six black women enroll, and in 1969, Virginia Tech finally welcomes its first black faculty member, Overton Johnson. It's a bit revealing to recognize the long walk and still-in-progress journey we are in the midst of. We are committed to the continued healing of our community from a history and climate marked by oppression, pain, and reconciliation. Our commitment continues, and you are a part of this as the most diverse class in Virginia Tech history, representing 46 states and 36 countries, not to mention the multiple visible and invisible identities you represent. In addition, our principles of community guide us in this work, and our culture and community centers provide both a space and learning for all of our Hokies. And that brings us to today and how you, the class of 2024, are going to continue the legacy of Virginia Tech as you craft your own unique path through all that the institution has to offer. It is under that foundation that we ask, how are you going to experience VT? Maybe you will get involved in one of our over 800 plus clubs and orgs. P.S. Andy, how about our virtual Gobbler Fest to check out some of them during Welcome Week next week? Or Chad, maybe they'll join one of the endless opportunities to live out Uprosum and the other aspirations for student learning through service learning or other extracurricular activities. What makes Virginia Tech outstanding is our community's commitment to serving others through our motto. We fully believe in giving back to the town of Blacksburg and the world through our actions and our projects. Or maybe you will get to work knocking out all that the Hokie Bucket List has to offer. But whatever you do, make your Virginia Tech experience your own and take joy in the opportunity to learn and grow with others throughout your time here. And as you heard from your orientation team member, the aspirations for student learning will guide you as you define your experience at VT. These are just some of our favorite traditions. Let's hear from a few current students to learn about theirs. My favorite Virginia Tech tradition is getting our class rings. Jumping to NS Sandman at all the football games. My favorite Virginia Tech tradition is the big event. Owen's Chicken Parm. The 3.2 for 32 race. My favorite Virginia Tech tradition is Welcome Week. It's Relay for Life. Listening to Skipper the Cannon being fired after every Virginia Tech touchdown. My favorite tradition is the civilian versus cadet snowball fight on the drill field. Spring game and spring family weekend. My favorite Virginia Tech tradition is the Let's Go Hokies chant. You love to see the traditions, don't we, Andy? I yeah, do. And now we finally have a welcome from the men and women's soccer team at Virginia Tech. Hey, I'm Jacob Blumler from the men's soccer team. I want to welcome you guys to campus and hope you have a great first year in Blacksburg. So my name is Chris Little, and I just want to say follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Hokies M Soccer, and I hope you guys have a great first year at Tech. Go Hokies! Hey Hokies, I'm Emily Gray. And I'm Molly Fayan. And we just wanted to wish you a great first year in Blacksburg. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Hokies W Soccer. Good, Good luck this, this year, and go Hokies! All right, so as we close, we wanted to say some of the things that some of our members said of the community for what a Hokie means to them. So we saw a bird, Oot Prosum came up, mm -hmm. Blacksburg, community, community. civility, the leadership. Nice, a lot of great responses. As you can tell from our short time here together, Virginia Tech is steeped in traditions, and we've only just scratched the surface of them. There's much more we welcome you to explore during your time here. So as you go about the rest of your time at Virginia Tech, enjoy the Hokie spirit and the traditions we love. And of course, let's go Hokies! Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Thank you.